2021 is here, and with every new year, we get new laws. And one that pertains to real estate is Proposition 19. There are two main parts to Proposition 19, a tax increase for some and a tax advantage for others. Hello folks, Steve Uta here with Century 21 Union and HousesInSouthBay.com, providing a brief overview of Prop 19 and how it may affect you. Now, first let's talk about the potential tax increase for some. This has to do with inheritance. In the past, a parent or grandparent could pass along property to their children or grandchildren, and the child would also inherit the parent's tax basis on the property. So they paid taxes based on what their parents paid. What has changed after Prop 19 is that now the property has to be the parent's primary residence and it must be used by the child as their primary residence to receive that tax benefit. Plus, there are limits on how much the home can be worth. This law not only affects families' ability to build wealth, but also harms renters that might be in those properties, as that extra tax burden will be passed along to the tenants, making even fewer affordable housing options. Now, the second part of Prop 19 is the potential tax savings that many can now take advantage of. If you're 55 years of age or over, you can take the tax basis of your current home and carry that over to a new home anywhere in the state of California. Now, previously, it was limited to only 10 counties. This is also available to those with severe disabilities and those affected in declared natural disaster areas. Well, so how does this work? Well, if your old home is taxed on a value of $100,000 back from when you purchased it, but is now valued at $600,000, you can sell your home and buy another home up to that $600,000 value and keep the same property tax based on your old value. That part's the same as under Prop 60. But now, being statewide, Prop 19 also changes the fact that you're allowed to upsize and still get a tax advantage. Let's say you sell that $600,000 home and now buy an $800,000 home. You would take that $200,000 increase in value and add it to the $100,000 value of your old tax assessment and be taxed on $300,000 of value instead of $800,000, potentially saving you thousands of dollars a year in property taxes. Now, for more information on how this may affect you, reach out to your tax advisor, estate planner, or contact me to evaluate your specific situation. Please like or subscribe below as it really helps me create content you find valuable. Bye for now.